Hey what's up you guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Torga and I'm really happy to do videos again on this channel because it's been a while but 2018 I want to really start powerful and motivated and I hope you guys are motivated too and if not do it, just motivate yourself. You have the options, you have the choice to be motivated. Just, I'm, I'm really hyped. You know, you can see it maybe, you can hear it in my voice as well. But I'm really hyped to do this video, okay? Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to clone yourself in Photoshop. Uh, before I learned cloning myself in Photoshop, I always felt like, damn this is so hard and so many things to do and I didn't know how to make it. I only knew it in Sony Vegas by uh, cloning myself in videos because that was really easy. You just have to split the screen and that's all, you know? And in Photoshop it was really different and I didn't know how to do it until I found this YouTuber Peter McKinnon and he's such a great inspiration, motivation and I really love his videos. I learned so many things from him and today I'm going to teach you how to clone yourself in Photoshop. So let's start this video. You want to create pictures like this, that or that, no problem. All you gotta do is put your camera on a tripod or on a table somewhere where it's fixed and not shaky. If you want to clone yourself three times um, shoot yourself in three different positions, like, um, take this place. You can make a clone picture standing like, I don't know, maybe one is here, on this place, the other one is maybe sitting down here, and the last, hmm, let's take him, I don't know, in this position, something like that, you know? You just have to make a good positioning, and that is the key. If you're alone and have nobody to shoot with or you don't have a remote to shoot a picture, the best thing you gotta do is put a timer and then it, it's pretty easy. Um, my lens is an autofocus so it's actually pretty nice. The timer is really good and you also can choose where the focus is by typing on the display because that was one of the main problems I had when I started to clone myself um, the focus wasn't there until I learned that I can choose where the focus is by typing on the display like uh, back in this corner or something or anywhere else you want the focus so I'm going to edit this photo with you guys so all I gotta do is put myself in three different positions and shoot nice photos so let's do this so now that I got my free photos from myself standing in three different positions in this room, we're going to start editing with Photoshop. So let's start editing these photos. So your first step is you're opening these three pictures in Photoshop and you place them above each other. And now comes the fun part. You have to use the rubber a lot. So you're deleting the area where your clones are supposed to stand. So now you can see your clone standing next to you and talking to you. Isn't this awesome? But you know what else is awesome? Seeing yourself three times in one photo. So now you have to delete the last area to see your third clone. So isn't this awesome guys, you just cloned yourself three times in one photo. I love it. I love the idea of cloning in pictures because, I don't know, I can't explain it. It's so awesome to see yourself several times in one photo. I am doing a lot of clone photos. It's so nice, you can do whatever you want and whenever you want, it doesn't matter. It's the only one that needs the time is you, like, yeah, you don't have to wait for other people to come or have time, you can just create awesome photos. Be creative, do something. So guys, I really can't wait to see your clone photos. So please make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'm really a lot on Instagram and I will definitely check your photos out. Um, write my opinion to it. Maybe we can inspire each other and have a nice conversation, who knows? Yo, let's come to the end guys. I hope you liked this video and I hope I was able to teach you how to clone yourself with Photoshop. And if so, please write me a comment. Leave me a like and subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot. And write me down in the comments what you guys want to see next on this channel. Maybe something with Lightroom or other Photoshop things or maybe a vlog or something. Yo guys, I just finished editing this video and you know what I noticed? I forgot to say goodbye. So, here it comes. Goodbye. I'll see you next time.